Hey, it's great to be with you again today. So I have a question for you. Who are you? There's a good question, right? Who do you consider yourself to be? And I think that we can have a lot of different answers to those questions, right? Well, I'm the son of Joe and Diane Forwood. I'm the grandson of the Davises and the Forwoods. I am the father of Lindsay, Lacey, and Luke. I am Lisa's husband. I was a team leader at Glen Mill Schools. I worked there for 36 years. I'm a Glen, I'm former Glen Mill staff. I'm a Garnet Valley High School staff member. I am a pastor at Silent Midnight Methodist Church. I am, right? And we all have those different names of who we are in this world. But who are we really? What is it that makes up each of us? Are we just flesh and blood and air and water and, or are we more? Are we more than just the names that people have given us? Are we more than just this lump of, well, clay, dirt, whatever we wanna call ourselves, right? What are we? And I think we need to come to terms with that because so many times we look at ourselves and we call ourselves unworthy. We call ourselves unlovable. We call ourselves addicted. We call ourselves hateful. We call ourselves, and we can fill in the blank of so many things that we think about who we are that are detrimental to who we are, right? We, we look in the mirror and we go, I am so ugly. Uh, if we're not doing well in school, I am so stupid. If I don't have a relationship and I'm married by the time I'm 30, I am, I am worthless. I, 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 why doesn't anyone love me, right? And we start to take on all of those things and we make them who we are. But I need you to hear this. If we have accepted Christ as our savior, if we believe that God is who God is, we are children of God. And here, I, I heard this one time, God don't make no junk. Listen to that. God doesn't make any junk. He makes us precious. We are precious in his sight. He loves us with a never ending love. He sent his one and only son to die on a cross so that we could come into a relationship with him, that we would be known as his children. So when we ask ourselves the question, who am I? If we love God, if we've accepted Christ as our savior, our answer should be, I am a child of the most high God, and I am loved. May God continue to pour out his grace, mercy, and blessings on each and every one of us until we get to meet again. Amen? Amen.